Abadar is the god of money, exploration, and mercantile. And he has successfully incorporated being a merchant, making a lot of money, into a mega religious corporation. We're going to talk about Abadar today. Hello everyone, welcome to the Maple Table, my name's Nathaniel. This is a channel where we discuss lore around some of your favorite role-playing games such as Starfinder, Werewolf the Apocalypse. If that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you join me at the table. You can do that by hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification. For my Starfinder fans, I have a community Discord server where you can come, talk about the games, ask questions, learn, and if you really wanted to, there is also a place for finding other players to play Starfinder with. So come check it out, link is in the description below. Abadar has been around since the OG days of Pathfinder, and he has continued to live on in Starfinder. Abadar is patient, Abadar is a very shrewd dealing businessman, and he has been dedicated to spreading civilization across the material plane forever. Abadar was binding planets together through the beauty that is commerce before space travel was really a thing. You had to kind of use the portals for that. On top of bringing wealth and prosperity to anyone who follows the rule of law, Abadar is also the guardian of the first vault. The first vault is a place where Abadar keeps a perfect version of everything. It is said that in this vault, there is the perfect version of a blaster pistol. There is a perfect version of a healing serum. There is a perfect version of an android in this vault as well. If it's been created and it exists, there is a perfect version inside this vault. Now this also extends to not only just things that get created, but also creatures, currency, spells, magic. Anything that is create anything, like anything that is created, there is a perfect version of it rumored to be in this guy's vault. Now, the Guardian of the First Vault does not reward impulsiveness. You don't gain a collection of massive wealth, perfect items in your vault just by being impatient. Abadar, while not risk averse, is not a huge risk taker. If a deal requires a little bit of risk that will greatly benefit you, then sure, Abadar would give his blessing for that. But for any deal, any contract that you enter into, especially if you're a follower of Abadar and Abadar Core, careful planning and consideration must be given to whatever it is you do. Now, Abadar favors neither good nor evil. Either way you lean on that spectrum, deals and civilization expansion can still happen. But Abadar does not like slaves. He would rather people be employed because employees earn wages, which can then be directed back to the economy. Now, some of the major centers of worship for Abadar are on Absalom Station. This is actually where the headquarters of Abadar Corp is located. The other major centers can also be found on Akaton and Versez. So who exactly worships Abadar and Abadar Corporation? The most zealous worshippers of Abadar and Abadar Corp are the aristocrats, entrepreneurs, colonists, lawyers, politicians, and traders. And there's also actually a good following of poor people who like to follow Abadar to try to either learn value of business, trade, and really just learn some value of money and how to not be poor anymore. There's actually some common sayings that were used on Galorion that will most likely have made their way into modern society when you're dealing with Abadar Core and Abadar Corporation. And I'll get to those in just a minute. Many followers of Abadar believe that he was solely responsible for advancing primitive civilizations and advancing them to this technological age that everyone in the Starfinder universe now finds themselves. At least when it comes to the sentient races that have space travel. And many will seek to advance his cause or advance his methods and religious beliefs as they go out and meet new civilizations, which is happening very, very frequently in Starfinder. Now, Abadar's church, Abadar Corp, see my video that I've done up here about Abadar Corp. It is both a religious organization and a mega corporation. In some of my discussions with you, one reference came out that I really liked, and it was likening Abadar Corp to Amazon. You can order it, Abadar Corp will deliver, and they got their hands in a lot of stuff. 
Abadar Core is a very successful, very powerful, and very influential corporation in the Pact worlds and Starfinder in general. Its managers and executives also serve as the church's priests, and many of its company offices double as stores, administrative offices for the corporation, and religious temples. The construction of any building when you're talking about Abadar Core is more utilitarian. They are very practical and theft-proof, being that there's usually large amounts of money or goods being stored in their location. Now, going back to the Pathfinder days and Abadar's early time in Galorion, he was worshipped as the god of cities, and that really hasn't changed, except for the fact that the cities are now intergalactic. Abadar's cathedrals were also banks there as well, and his influence could be found anywhere where civilization was trying to expand. Abadar was very well liked by the lawyers, and he also really enjoyed the lawyers because they were advancing law. During the early days of Galorion, he was also very well liked by the dwarves. His tenets of work hard and you can be rich, follow the rule of law, because civilization needs to have some form of governance. And this is something that the dwarves of Galorion could really latch onto. Now, any followers who really twisted the law to their own benefit, think malicious compliance, following the letter to the law, not the spirit of the law. He really didn't like that. Also, being a bandit and piracy, uh, those didn't get you any favors from Abadar. Now, when someone made a deal or a negotiation, or even just had something nice or not nice to say about some item that they were looking at, there are some colloquialisms or just some sayings that the locals would use to have Abadar bless the transaction, bless the item, or curse the transaction or the item depending on what they said. The ultimate goal was to, of course, gain the attention of Abadar so that he would favorably bless this deal. When making a deal with someone who is in service to Abadar or in Abadar Corp, in the case of Starfinder, it would be very common to have someone say either by Abadar's gaze or the deal is sealed. Now, this came from an aphorism or a saying that people would use when they wanted to bless a deal after it, it signified negotiations of your contract had been done. It, it was your deal is done. Your contract is finished or at least agreed upon. And the full saying was, by Abadar's gaze, the deal is sealed. And when this saying was done and somebody tried to alter the deal or the negotiations afterwards, trying to break their contract, in essence, Abadar really didn't like that when it happened. And uh, bad things usually ended up happening to the person who tried to break the contract. However, nowadays, it's more common that you would hear somebody say, by Abadar's gaze, or just simply, the deal is sealed. Another common phrase that was used on Galorion and would have continued to persist into the days of the Pact Worlds in Starfinder. When somebody liked the quality of an item, it was referred to as being extremely good quality. You would say that it was from Abadar's vault. It just implied that the item was of, like I mentioned, really good quality. Now on the flip side, you would also say something like, this is not worthy of Abadar's vault if you didn't like the quality of an item because it's just garbage. And in court or legal proceedings, because we know Abadar and Abadar Core, they like lawyers because they advance the rule of law. And when a court case is finished, it is commonly ended with, so it is judged. Now, followers of Abadar and Abadar Core may also use this phrase when they see something that they perceive to be justice. This is something that could be done a little bit more offhandedly. So what are my final thoughts on Abadar? As far as Abadar goes, I like the concept of him having a vault and having just a perfect version of whatever item or whatever you want in this vault. It could serve for a good heist story, especially if you wanted to do something kind of crazy and going to a different plane of existence. In terms of Pathfinder, this is a very interesting character. It's a very interesting god, being that there's quite a few more mechanics involved on the Pathfinder side of direct interaction, direct benefit, and direct curses for following the tenets of Abadar. In Starfinder, there are no such boons and curses 
there is a magic book that's going to be coming out for the Starfinder setting later this year, this year being 2021. While it is going to be more focused around magic, maybe that will include some more information on some of the gods, who knows, maybe they will get their own supplement in the future. For Starfinder, Abadar does add a pretty good flavor to the world if you can sprinkle that into your stories. It might even intrigue your players to go investigate, and then maybe you can make some of your own storylines involving Abadar Corp. If you're doing a frontier story or you're doing a sandbox space exploration, not only are you going to have a lot with the Xeno Wardens, but you're also going to see Abadar Core being on those frontier locations as well. So that's how I would use them in the Starfinder setting. And if you're in a highly civilized area, Abadar Core is the shop. It is the place to go to. So maybe use them like your Amazon or your Amazon Prime. Speaking of those who are worthy to be either from Abadar's Vault or part of Abadar's Vault, I would like to thank my patrons. Autumn Alchemist, Cane Root, Warpony, Ducky, Get of Math Rocks, BA Bravo, Arutvin, The First Layer, Bones Malone, Westheimer, and Ain't No Waifu. Thank you all for your support for me and the channel. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. If you would like to learn a little bit more about the factions of Starfinder, then please check out the playlist on your screen now. My name's Nathaniel. This has been The Maple Table. Thank you so much for your subscription. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.